time to give the booster shots. With the puppies, um, when they get six weeks old, uh, these puppies are about five and a half, almost six. Uh, normally, you give them a five and one booster shot. Food quieter now. Angle, 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 um, I went in there today and they told me they had six and one for puppies. They added the coronavirus to the um, to these booster shots. Yep, and I see it on here, CCV, K9 coronavirus. So now you give your puppies, instead of giving them a five and one, you still can do the five and one, but if you want the coronavirus added to it, you can give them the six and one. So it's the same price, $14.99. Um, I bought six of them, I have six puppies, $14.99. Um, for each shot. I'm gonna show y'all how to do these things. It's real simple, very simple. I do all of my own shots, especially the ones that I can now. Um, if it's a shot that you can't give or I can't get the medication, then obviously you gotta take them to the vet for that. But if you have so many puppies or so many dogs like I do, man, it's, it's just not feasible to go to the vet for every little thing, so. Over the years, you learn what, what to do in order to um, do these shots. So basically it comes, I guess I could show y'all everything. In the package, in the package, it comes like this, basically with the top on it. So what's in this package is syringe, and the Laval, the medicine. So, take it out. You just pop this little top off, and it just pops off. Pulls off. I always stick everything back in there. Then you just uh, push the syringe out. Syringe out. You know. And then I always twist it this, uh, what is that way? I don't know. Twist it towards me. Um, and, and I twist this part away from me, this part towards me. Just make sure it's tight and then pull it off. And what you do, you take the liquid part first. Basically, you got to mix the liquid with the solid. So you just stick, stick it in there, pull it to the end, and then just pull out. I pulled out too far. I want to get every little bit of juice in there. See, I don't have to get that little bit at the bottom, but I want to get every little bit. So you have the liquid in there, but you gotta mix the liquid with the solid. So just stick the needle in there, push the liquid in that solid. What I do, I just shake it up. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but on this valve, it got a little bit of hole where you can, you can see the uh, needle. So you pull it down where you can see the needle right in that valve part. Uh, and then just drain the liquid out. And that's it. And then the recommended way, I think, I don't know if they recommend that on here, but the recommended way is to lift lift the uh, puppy up. Uh, I'll show you. Give me the boy so I know which one I just did. got six girls and I can't tell them apart yet so I'm gonna do the boy first so I can because I can tell him apart so this is the boy a little wet but what basically you just lift up the skin and you're not sticking it all the way through from there from one side to the other you're basically just sticking it inside the skin so you lift it up it's in there you just feel it go in and you ease the medicine in and as you notice, the puppy is not even affected by it. I let it sit for about five seconds, get it in there, pull it out. And then, I often check it. So, so oftentimes, you all can see, 
Sometimes you can see the medicine sitting right in there. I just rub it in a little bit. But this is how you keep these puppies alive. If you, if you don't give these shots, if you don't give these shots, man, I'm telling you, uh, they'll start getting sick. You're supposed to wait to six weeks old, but these are five and a half weeks. So I just went on to give it to them. Better safe than sorry. So again, that's how you do the shot. We're gonna do um, the rest of the puppies. I'm gonna get all of them ready to go. Um, you could just take the needle off and shoot it in their mouth, but it's not recommended to do that on the package work, so I don't do it like that. But um, but you could. Man, he just ate that food. That's why he's belly full, full, full. This is the only meal out of the litter. I'm gonna put him back in there, get these vials ready, then we're gonna give these puppies a shot. These females. So, one thing I like to do too, uh, say hey to the camera, man. What's up? So you don't let that hair grow out, y'all. That's Trent. Probably the last time y'all seen Trent. Come stand by me again, man. He probably was smaller than me. Now look at him. He's bigger than me. I bet everybody gonna be like, man, Trent done rolled up. He's my size now, y'all. He was smaller than me probably last time he was on camera. And he's my size. Yeah. Say it again. Pajamas to the game? Why you want to pajamas to the game? Man, who, who does that, man? Who does that? Let me let you do it next time, man. They got singing nights. So everybody dressing up tonight. Yeah, I said they dressing up like uh, oh man, you throwing me off. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, that's that right there. I got six more to make up. Hey, come help me do this, Trent. Speed up the process. They hmm. dressing up, and I thought just say, "Hey, I'm part of the pajamas." Let me show you how to do this. I'm not gonna use pajamas, just pajamas. Can't put your warm ups. So get your get your vows out too, like that. Yeah, I'm just sitting like this. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, it's been over here, man. So if you pop this part off first, and just pop it off. Yeah. And then you sit it to the side. And then you take this, you just push it up. Yeah. Sit that to the side. Now, I just tighten it. Twist this part towards you and that part away from you. Just make sure. Yeah. Twist that part towards you. That's tight. You feel it a little tight. Okay. And then you just pull it out. It's a needle, so don't poke yourself. So just sit your needle right there. I'm in there. The top of it. And get the liquid part first. This? The liquid. That's the solid. Yeah. And stick it in there. So this is what I do. I get it close like this. So I don't stick myself. I put it to the side. And then I poke it in there. So you don't stick yourself. That's it. And then you just turn it upside, pull your knee out a little bit, turn it upside down. Yeah, pull your knee out a little bit more, right there. And then just pull your syringe down like this. All the way? Yeah, you're trying to get all the liquid out. Yeah, you uh, don't push it back, pull it down. Now, uh, hold it down. Don't put it out, don't put it out, don't push it out. All the way because it'll come out. Push it back in, son. Yeah, right there. Now take that off. Yeah, don't poke yourself. Drop it. 
Yeah. Let me get you solid. Get you solid. And what I do, again, turn it to the side so you don't stick yourself. And then put it in that little hole in the middle. Yeah, and then just push it in there. Oh, shoot. Yeah, push it in there. You're going to push it in there. You want, you want it to go in there now. So push it in there. Yeah. That's it. And then just shake it up. You can leave it in there. You could have left that in there. It don't matter. Turn it to the side so you don't poke yourself. Yeah. And then you see that little spot right there in the middle, man? Okay. See that little spot in the middle? What? Turn, turn it upside down the other way. Okay. Yeah. Pull your needle down to that spot. And then now get your juice out of there. Okay. Now pull the syringe and take it back out like you did. Sit that one right there. Let's do another. I thought you've done this before, man. Yeah. Have you done this before? No, I don't know. I don't know. show you how to do these shots man what you do you pull it up like this come stand on that yeah you pull it up like that and you stick the needle you gotta stick it in here like you can't go all the way through either side so you just basically sticking it like right in there and stop a lot of times when they moving, if you just pick them up, it's a lot easier. I don't push it right there. Stick it in there first. And you'll feel it go in. Mm. You're not sticking it inside. The... Yeah. Wait, what? You said what? You're sticking it in the skin only, not in the muscle. What's the muscle? Mostly way down here. Mm. So come up high. Come back up here. Yeah. Don't stick your hand either. You feel it go in there? You'll feel it when it go. What? Yeah. Go in there. there you go. Push it? Yeah, easy. Come out some if you're too far. You may be too far in there. Now do it. Is it going in? Is it hard? Let's see. Let's come out. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it went in there. See, stick it in there. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Rub it a little bit where we stuck in there. Stuck her up. That's good. Yeah. Four more. Eight, so they are big and healthy. Let's try to do another. 
So the key key is stick, just stick it in there. Come on, let's go. And don't uh, come off that. Yeah, just stick it in there like that. Make it. And don't stick your hand. It's right here. Right? Yeah. yeah. That's it right there. Just push it in there. That's it. Leave it for a minute. Now come out. That's it, man. So you can tell when it went in there, couldn't you? Mm -hmm. See, that's the liquid in there. So that's why I just rub it a little bit. Make it go down. Good job, girl. Good job, girl. Good job. Shortest. I think I'm say just eight. Come on, get another one real quick. Good job, girl. Good job. They turn fixing you up. They turn fixing you up, girl. Don't leave you by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> what? Cause she, 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 she crying. I'm not gonna leave you by yourself. Listen, it's a boy, a boy, girl. I did the boy earlier, so I'm saying like she was hyper. Yeah. And you tell her when it's a boy, cause the boy all get hit. Hey, watch your knee, man. Hey, watch your knee. Don't hey, hey, you mm -hmm. stick yourself to that knee. Okay. Cause I done put it in too far one time, and it come out on the other side. Let's see, girl. Good job, girl. You the last one. Number one to make some little noise. But that's how it is. Man, giving those six and one booster shots. Hopefully it's gonna keep these six puppies alive. Uh, I think you get these shots every two weeks, if I'm not mistaken. Once you start six weeks, uh, yeah, second dose two to three weeks later. Yeah, so in one dose, then second dose two to three weeks later. Man, that's it for the feed the grown dogs. Just something gotta be washed out. We feed the grown dogs. Uh, yeah. Go from there. Peace. Y'all take care. This is Kennel. Six and one booster shot with the puppies. Peace. Y'all take care.